There seems to be a lot of animus between the two of you, and I notice it not so much from the testimony today, but from the evidence that you previously submitted. What do you do, sir, when you're not Fire running out? forensics. You work for the state? No. I used to be civil service, but I'm not anymore. Is this you, Mr. Smith, who says, as you said, you used to be a cop, run my plates like you said? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. What was this text message about? So, throughout the whole time that we lived it, I never spoke to Gerald personally. Only time we spoke to him is when after this was happening. So, he calls me up one day and was like, hey, I want to get you served. I need your um, information to get you served. I need your thing. I said, no. Use a mail like we are and use our forwarding address. He said, come on, bro. Don't worry about it. I used to be a cop. I can have your plates run and I can find you. Stop and right I there. Stop right there. Because that really corresponds with my concern in this next message from you where you said, I work for the state under DOJ, just trying to be cool with this without using my state access. I hope you don't work for the state because no, that sounds like you're trying to use some state access no, for no. private purposes, that like a which would be completely inappropriate. It is. Thank you for your acknowledgement. What are the damages? Why do they owe you damages? What's this? Okay, so I had the bathroom remodeled, and those are LED lights in the bathroom. Your Honor, that light simply fell out. And that's all that happened. You could, I went to Home Depot and priced the light. The light was only $27. That sounds about right. I, I'm going to pass the case to Judge Domingo, but I think that you guys really made this situation much harder than it needed to be. Judge? Okay, so we understand you have video. This will be the plaintiffs, and you can kind of tell us what we see here. What you're looking at here is the uh, front entry door. There's stucco damages. That is where they tried to move furniture out, like a couch or something, because it's, it's at least 14 inches apart from well, each other. Well, you didn't see them do that. It wasn't there before. Right. I, okay, I so that out. was there, you're saying, after they left? Correct. Here. Okay, what else are we seeing here? What is that? So you see the patches that no. they tried to do themselves, the holes, right there. Okay, those two little boxes. And you see, they tried to do a paint job on the wall over there. How many months were you there, sir? Just a few months? Yeah, we were just there a few months. Okay. And also, before we moved in, like, there was already holes in the wall, so how do they know those patches on the wall is from us? And before we moved out, so if I got it while I'm reiterating, is that we asked them to come and do a pre-walkthrough so we can have this address before we moved out. And she said no. Right. Okay, nope. let me stop you. Let me stop you now, because I, I can see that you're all hopped up against each other. So let's start with the big picture. The big okay. picture is that's pretty darn good, considering what we see, the way people leave premises on an overnight visit. You know, you got to be grateful that the place is as intact as it is, and that, you know, you're not going to be asking for, you know, these two discolorations. I get, I get what you're saying, but when you're asking for four and 4500 bucks premium rate, and it's have a gated community, two playgrounds, a pool, 24-hour security. People expect a certain type of presentation on their property. They don't want to bring that to my attention. Say, well, there's some holes here that we painted. They want to like you. Like, if I'm gonna give you five grand a month, it better look right. And so that's why I spent over a hundred some thousand in remodeling prior to them moving in. But I'm not sure that these damages that you're alleging, even if you could attribute the outside damage to the defendant, I'm not sure whether or not the price that you're charging to fix it or the fact that you had to do it at all was not something that was going to happen it. based on the age and the location of the actual damage itself. I get it. And the problem I have with you, sir, Mr. Smith, Yes. you know, you're living there in this dirt and soot and whatever in the air and you want to say that it's made you sick. I'm not sure how you could attribute that to them. What do you expect them to do? He never said nothing about construction. How does he that. know? But it doesn't work. I mean, he works for the, the government Ram's on one level. right next door. No, I told you that. Don't this do is just that. aggressiveness that he does. This is how he Mr. talks. Mr. Antoine. That's why we didn't want to live there. Didn't I say don't do that? Because do you see what goes on then? So he talks, you talk, I talk. And you know what? Nobody made a point there. Correct. So you've all been your own worst enemies to some extent in this courtroom. And that, that's not a good way to come to court. <laughs>